Please copy your facts for visiting um, this is your weekly reading for March the 26th to April the 1st. And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment um, only if you would like to. And I try to answer all the comments when I can. I really do try. Um, so everything's ready. I'm just going to start your reading for Scorpio. So yes, I can see straight away um, the first card you have for your past is yes, the tower. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Yes, I'm just getting this feeling of you really feeling like enough is enough. This is about a person. This is about a person who's been bothering you for a long, long time, I'm seeing. Enough is enough. Enough was enough. Um, they could have said one final thing that pushed you over the edge. Yes, they've been bothering you for a while, but then, then this final thing just came along and it was like, that is enough. Enough is enough. They either pushed you over the edge or you know, they pushed you out of the tower, you pushed them out of the tower, and that was it, that was over with. Um, I'm just seeing someone saying things, um, and this person really made you feel really bad with what they were saying. It was like the final straw, that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, it probably felt like bullying to you, actually. This person likes to bully you, and this person likes to, maybe other people don't see it as bullying, but you felt that it was like that, that's how it felt to you. And I'm seeing also that, um, yes, they make you feel bad or they did make you feel bad with what they were saying to you and also what they were saying about you because I'm seeing this person like to talk about you as well. And then they try to make you feel bad, you know, you, they make you feel bad with what they say or they made you feel bad with what they said to you. But then they try to make you feel bad for wanting to um, not be around them crazy. Of course you don't want to be around them. Of course you didn't want to be around this person. I wouldn't want to be around them either. Um, but, you know, this could be, um, I'm, I'm seeing this was it for you. This was it for you at this time. Um, if this resonates, you could be completely getting away from this person, or you could be trying to, or you could have been already. This is in your past. It might still be going on right now. Um, but, you know, this is a tower coming down, final straw, they've done one last thing, you cannot bear it anymore and you're either pushing them out of the tower or you're jumping out of the tower and that is it. Uh, this decision um, is it. It was made really, really quickly. I'm seeing it was a very quick decision. All I keep on seeing is, right, that's it. Right, that's it. It's over. Enough is enough. That's what I keep on seeing. The next card you have your past is the Four of Swords. So yes, this was a really, really big change for you emotionally, a big, big shift, because I'm not seeing you're a doormat, but I'm just seeing that you just, you just thought, oh, will I do something about this that was going on for a long time, and it was just, it became so ridiculous, you just couldn't do nothing, you could not continue to just put up with this thing, but it was a big change, there was a huge change for you emotionally, and it does let you, it does get you feeling a little bit shaky and a bit, um, horrible if you do have to kind of stand up to someone like that. It can be really unnerving. Um, yes, and I'm seeing that you, I'm not seeing you actually yelling at them, but you just, um, something shifted emotionally inside you and that was it. That was it. And you know, you were feeling stronger after this all finished, um, but you're still having this kind of, um, I'm feeling this kind of a sinking feeling when you think about what they did and what they said, it's like when you think about this again, it's like you feel like, oh no, that's horrible thing they did or they said. And when I confronted them and then I felt like this. And, and it's like you're replaying it around and around in your head for a while. And you're just lying down. Maybe you couldn't sleep. Maybe you're thinking about this because you couldn't sleep. You're trying to lie down. And this, whatever happened with this person just kept on repeating itself around and around in your head. So yes, if this resonates and you're still going through this, um, the longer you stay away from this person, the stronger you'll feel and the better you'll feel. And the more though, the more those memories will start to um, just fade away from you. So the last card you have your past is the Eight of Wands. So yes, you've had a lot of changes. You've had a lot of changes inside yourself because you actually finally stood up to this person and that was a huge change. It was a scary but a good change. And you had changes um, inside yourself as well. So you're seeing things um, and perceiving things in a completely different way. I'm sorry about that noise going past. Um, yes, there's also a lot of communication going on, and there was at this time, about you. So yes, again, I'm seeing that this person was talking about you as well as saying horrible things to you. 
um, but they were still continuing to do that after you kind of said enough is enough with this person. They just kept on talking about you to other people really, really on and on and on, saying how you did this and how, and kind of trying to um, project or, or put across one side that wasn't actually true. That's what I'm seeing there. Um, but yes, you finally took action. You're, you're feeling a lot stronger. You weren't around this person anymore when they were doing this talk about you. And I think you knew that that's what they're like anyway. You were kind of prepared that that's what they're going to keep on doing. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have here present is strength. So yes, I keep on seeing this person all the way through this reading so far. I'm sorry. That's just what I'm seeing. I know this is specific. This is what I'm seeing, the situation with this person. So this person can also be very tricky that not only are they rude and horrible to you, they're tricky as well. And yes, I'm seeing talk about you as well. I'm seeing in the strength card again as well. And I'm seeing, um, but I'm also seeing they're trying to cover their tracks. But that's what I'm seeing when I see this lion. They could be trying to tell people a certain story or that something happened in a certain way and that wasn't what actually happened because it's like they're trying to cover their tracks. I'm seeing cover, cover their tracks when I see this lion. If you think about a lion, when they walk along their tail covers their footprints, their tail covers their tracks. Someone's trying to rewrite history. That's what this person is trying to do. And yes, if this resonates, just stay strong. Stay very strong. You can be strong too. You can be like, like a lion yourself. Stay strong. Don't give in to this person. Don't, you know, you, you might hear some talk about you that they're telling other people. Try to ignore it. I can see why you felt bullied, but just try to ignore it. You've said your piece. That's it, I think. Just don't go back there. The next card you have your present is justice. So yes, you're going to be, this is about balance. This is balance. So you're going to be feeling more balanced. The longer you stay away from this person, the more balanced you are going to feel. Because when you get near this person, it's like a whole negative, horrible, big ball of negative energy and you just want to stay away from them. The more you're away from them, the more balanced you feel. That's what I'm seeing. The other thing I'm seeing is that for single people, um, if you're looking for a relationship, um, I'm seeing there's a friendship here. You could already be friends with someone and you could be interested in this person. You could be interested in having a relationship with this person. There is a balanced feeling between you. You are really, really good friends. You love having conversations. You're on each other's level intellectually and you're really good friends. You are equals. I'm seeing this balance here. Um, this person is someone you really feel comfortable with. That's what I'm seeing. But at this time, I'm not seeing that um, they're thinking of you in a romantic way. Now, you're probably thinking, this is a friend, but I would like to see them in a romantic way, but you're not actually making any moves yet. I'm not sure if you are going to or not, but that's how you're feeling, like you'd like to. And this person I'm seeing is, um, they're not thinking of you in that way, and that's probably because... Um, they might not realize that's how you're feeling or they might have a lot of other problems going on around them at this time that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm seeing i'm sorry um yes i'm not seeing they never will um get to know you romantically or want to get to know you romantically they probably will one day they might one day they might not but I'm not saying that they never will. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. They might see you like that one day. But at the moment, it's very complicated. There's a lot of complications around this person. They're in some sort of complicated situation or it's really difficult for them. Um, and their focus is on that at this time. So the last card you have, your present, is, yes, the Ten of Swords. So, yes, backstabbing. I'm seeing this card quite literally, actually. Um, this isn't as dramatic as it looks because I'm just seeing that this person in the tower still going to be speaking about you, still trying to backstab you. But I'm seeing that this is the last grasp actually at trying to control things and trying to control you. But what I'm seeing is this is a reflection on them. The more they try and backstab you or make you feel bad, the more this magnifies how they feel about themselves because I'm feeling they actually feel bad about themselves. They actually wish they weren't who they are. They actually wish they were better. They wish they were more like someone like you, but they're not. So they're trying to put you down. That's what they were trying to do. And they're probably still going to keep on trying to um, 
you know, talk about you, do things about you. Try to ignore it. Try to ignore it as much as you can. It won't do any good speaking to this silly person, this horrible person. Um, and you've, you've been there, done that. There's nothing more to say, really, with this person. But yes, this is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Definitely, this is how they feel about themselves. So the first card you have for future is the Eight of Swords. So this person in the Tower card, they could actually be a family member, or they could be someone who knows your family. Some or could be an old friend, and they could know your family. Something like that. It's something like that. Because I'm seeing, um, when you look at the woman in this card, she's turning her back on her home. So you're turning your back on something, someone very familiar that you've known for a long, long, long time since you're growing up, since you've you know you've had your family home, that kind of thing. So it could be a family member, or it could be an old friend that you've been around since you were very small, something like that. This is not a nice person. I don't know why you've kept them around for this long, but you have. Anyway, it's over now. And again, you know, I'm seeing for single people who are looking for a friend for a for a relationship. I'm saying sorry, I just accidentally said friend because I'm seeing this friend situation in the justice card again. Um, this person's still going to be going through some problems. So this might not be the right time, even in your future, for, to really talk about getting any further with this person romantically. Um, I'm seeing that you're still going to be friends. It could happen in the future. It could still happen in the future. But at this time, this is really bad timing. This person has a lot of things going on. Um, I'm getting this anxious feeling when I see this. So they've got a lot of anxiety going on around them or they're going to at this time. This is in your future. So just be there for this person as a friend. That's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have for your future is the Page of Swords. So I'm getting this feeling of defensiveness actually when I see this card because I'm seeing somebody might come around you at this time. They might try to, they might be someone who's around this person in the tower or they might be someone who knows this person and they're going to come and ask you some questions, some difficult questions, maybe trying to kind of ask you, why did you do that? Why aren't you talking to them? They didn't do that. They told me this and they're going to really know all the gossip, know all the silly um, talks that this person's been saying and they're going to be listening to them and saying, oh, they told me this, they told me that. Don't rise to this bait. Please don't rise to this bait. Please don't do that. You might be tempted to defend yourself. Don't defend yourself. You don't need to defend yourself. You've made the right decision. Don't, don't bother with defending yourself. So yes, the last card you have in your future is the world. So I'm actually feeling quite calm when I see this card. You finally, you do need this calm. You do need calm around. You've had so many things going on. Um, and there's someone around you who actually makes you feel quite complete, quite calm. Um, yes, I'm seeing, I'm, don't be upset, don't be worried about this. This could be someone who's around you physically, or it could be someone who's not around you physically anymore. It could be someone who's actually passed on. This is someone who knows what's going on. They can see you, they can see this problem. You might be doubting yourself because you've got this person in the Page of Swords saying, oh, but they didn't mean that, they didn't mean well. Oh, they said this about you. Oh, can't you defend yourself? Why aren't you talking to them? Maybe you should speak to them, that kind of thing. You felt like, or you're, you were feeling, or you're going to be, this is in your future, feeling like you have to defend yourself to this person. This person who's around you, who cares about you, whether they're physically around you or not, they might be spiritually around you. I'm seeing that quite clearly. Don't be upset about that. They're caring for you. They're watching out for you. They are seeing that you are making the right decision. If you're unsure about this decision, if you're unsure about whether you should be speaking to them or not, you should not be speaking to them. That's what I'm picking up here. That's what I'm seeing. You've made the right decision. Stick to it. Keep away from this person. If someone wants to question you, don't go into it. Just say, I don't want to talk about this right now. That's all. Once you start opening up, getting into it with these people, they start opening up and then they'll start telling them what you said and then go back to you what they said and go on and on. Put a stop to it. That's what I'm seeing. That's what you're already doing. That's what you're going to be doing in your future. And this person who is around you sees you, knows you, loves you so much, cares about you. They know that you are making the right decision. 
that's what I'm seeing there. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment or do everything if that's what you'd like to do. Thank you so, so much for watching.